Welcome to Transform Your Mind with Pam Ryan. This is season three, and it's all about love, God's love. Hello, this season is all about love. And we are continuing in this season of love, God's love. And I want to talk about the flesh. How do you walk in the flesh and still possess God's love? So I want to help you in this arena. So let's take a look at Galatians 6, verses 7 through 8. And I'm going to summarize it. First, it begins by saying, do not be deceived. Don't fool yourself. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Whatever you plant, that's what's going to grow. And therefore, that is where your harvest will be. But then verse 8 says that he that soweth to the flesh, now to the flesh he will reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, he will reap everlasting life. So let's take a look at the flesh. We are aware that the flesh is enemies of God, yet he housed his precious Holy Spirit in this earthen vessel. And that's why I mentioned to you earlier that in order to get to the treasure in all of us, we have to accept the entire field. So what do we do when our flesh is causing us to do things against the will of God? Causing us to behave against the will of God. Causing us to indulge in activities that are against the will of God. Causing us to eat things according to the will of God. What do we do? We must starve it. We must cut it off. We must command it to obey. But how do we do that? We do the opposite. We feed the spirit. And as we continue to feed the Spirit, the Spirit begins to rise up in us and take over. Then our Spirit communicate with the Master Spirit and they become one. So you're in a situation. You're in a physical situation with someone that you deem worthy and you know that the activities that they are asking you or maybe even that you are longing to participate in is against the word of God. Feed your spirit man. So you've had dinner and your mind is telling you I want another serving. And you know that you've had enough to be satisfied. What do you do? You feed the spirit. So I know that people are saying, read your Bible. Listen to this. Listen to this sermon. That's what you have to do. We have to take ownership in this thing. No. At first, I did not want to always read my Bible. But like I told you in the beginning, my situation was so dim to me 
that I began searching out to find what the one who formed me wanted of me. God, what do you want? I began to seek his word and I found out that his word brings life. So I began searching and I began finding. So what do I do when my flesh is raging out of control? I turn on my music. For me, it was Tamala Mann. And then it was the evolution of Leandria Johnson. And I played them continuously until my spirit man began to rise up and connect me with the Father who then resided inside of me, allowing me to possess his precious Holy Spirit. And once he began to live in me, I began to be guided by him. Do I get weak? Do I still have longings and cravings? Of course I do. But what do I do? I call on the one who made me and I connect my spirit with his. Because I know if I continue to eat beyond control, if I continue to indulge in activities beyond control, Galatians 6 and 8 says that I'm going to reap destruction. But I'm seeking everlasting life. So as for me and my earthen vessel, we will be feeding the spirit and what better word to give the spirit than itself so i'm asking you transform your mind once your flesh gets out of control feed the spirit man and allow god to radiate through your life leading you to territories uncharted I love you. Have a great day. See you soon. Waiting on us to love. Yeah.